Hi, my name is Erica, and I will be discussing why sea turtles are endangered. Sea turtles have navigated throughout the world's oceans for more than 150 million years. Sea turtles are air-breathing reptiles that can weigh 100 to 1,400 pounds. They spend most of their life in the water. However, females come ashore to lay her eggs. Sea turtles are beautiful creatures that roam our oceans. The sea turtle species is in danger. Six species of sea turtles are on our Earth's endangered species list. The green sea turtle, the hawksbill sea turtle, the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, the leatherback sea turtle, the loggerhead sea turtle, and the olive Ridley sea turtle. There are numerous reasons why sea turtles are endangered, all of which are preventable by humans. The meat and eggs of sea turtles are considered delicacies and have spiritual importance in some parts of the world. However, this has not stopped humans from killing and consuming them. When female turtles come ashore to lay her eggs, hunters search the shores for the females laying her eggs. The hunters will wait until the female has laid her eggs before they kill her. This ensures they will get the turtle's meat and her eggs. There have been some steps made to help combat the threat com posed by human consumption. Some steps include education, patrolling the beaches that turtles nest upon, and relocating hatcheries. However, these steps do not always stop the vicious hunters. People around the world have hunted sea turtles, especially the hawksbill sea turtle, for its beautiful and colorful shell for centuries. They create items such as jewelry from the shells. According to a recent study, the hawksbill sea turtle population has declined 90% during the past 100 years. Although governments have made great efforts to stop the killing and selling of sea turtle shells, the black market has found ways to sell these items. Awareness needs to be raised about illegal shell trade. Another problem arising for the sea turtle population is accidental killing, capturing, and injuring due to U.S. fishermen. Sea turtles get caught in the nets and hooks of fishermen while migrating through areas of fishing. Some turtles are killed or some are injured, making it impossible to survive in the ocean. The global fishing fleet is two and a half times larger than what oceans can support. A solution needs to be made in order to save sea turtles from these accidental incidents. If all fisheries had turtle excluder devices, millions of turtles would be saved. Turtle excluder devices are attached to nets so that the turtles can escape when they get entangled in the nets. Sea turtles are also greatly affected by plastic debris caused by humans. It is currently estimated that there are 100 million tons of plastic in the world's oceans. The predicted amount of plastic debris for this year alone is 60 billion pounds. The plastic debris travels from cities and streets into the oceans. Sea turtles are killed from consuming the plastic debris. Trash and plastic bags have been found in their stomachs. Another problem endangering sea turtles is the effects of climate change. Climate change causes a rise in sea level because polar ice caps are melting. This greatly affects the nesting beaches that female sea turtles lay their eggs. Sea turtles' memories are actually imprinted with a magnetic map of the sandy beach where they hatch. Sea turtles return to the same site where they were born to lay their new eggs. With the sea levels rising, these beaches imprinted in their memories are starting to disappear. Climate change is also affecting sea turtles' food sources. For example, coral reefs are becoming bleached, which kills the reef. Coral reefs are an important food source for all sea turtles. One of the biggest problems sea turtles face today in the oceans is oil spills. Oil gets into the turtles' eyes, lungs, and skin when they arise to the surface to breathe. They are extremely vulnerable to chemical exposure from the food that they ingest. Also, oil can get trapped in the foods that they eat, such as seagrass. The chemicals in the oil erode and kill the seagrass, the main component of sea turtles' diets. Every problem facing sea turtles' survival stems from human activity. Humans need to take action and do their part to save these incredible creatures that have been roaming our oceans for millions of years. People need to be educated about how their habits are killing sea turtles along with other living things in the ocean.